So it says here that you've got previous experience in sales, but you haven't actually listed any previous experience. Do you have any previous experience? Oh, yeah, yeah. As a student, I get certain discounts at clothing and retail stores, so I'd like to say I'm a bit of an expert at sales. That's, uh, that's not really what, what we're looking for as such. Um, you wouldn't be looking for sales? No, no, no. But with my paycheck, I would be. It also says that you've, um, one of your interests is uh, stand-up comedy. I'd like to have a joke. Ah. Um. <clears throat> knock, knock. Who's there? Take the job, will you? Take the job, will you? Who? <laughs> okay, I'll take it. <laughs> Just shut myself out. <laughs> come on, come on. Come on, man! Oh, there we go, there we go, come on! Yes! Yes, yes! again. We've had it five nights in a row. Can we not have something different, please? No, because we've got no money. You spent your maintenance loan on ridiculous things. Like what? Like racing stripes for a car. But you've got to be looking sick whilst driving into town. Charlie, we don't have a car. Neither of us can even drive. We can learn, though. What we need is a quick and easy way to make money. Like, like something that isn't going to take too much effort. What have you got in mind? I'll search you up. Well, what you got? Well? How are you at knitting? Oh yeah. I'm great. What do you think? Hmm. What? Hmm. What? Hmm. What? Why don't we just write stories? Ah, oh, good one. No, no, seriously. There's this website that's paying for young writers to send in their stories. Guaranteeing the good. I think we should do it. Tell me more about the knitting. serious about this writing stories? I don't see why not. If that woman that made Fifty Shades of Grey can do it, why can't we? Yeah, but, but that book uh, appealed to middle-aged women and, and brandy housewives everywhere. They, I mean, they, weren't, they clearly weren't getting it at home. It's evident. So they thought, Mr Grey's got a nice, big, throbbing penis waiting for me. So they went and read the book or watched the film. For one, we're not talking about the films here. For two, what the fuck? And for three, I think we need to give it a go. If it goes wrong, then at least we tried. Okay, okay. Alright, you can type though. Okay, cool. So what are we going to write? I, I, I don't know. I, I really don't. Um... Wait, wait! I've got it! This is brilliant! So there's a boy, 12 years old, okay, he's got a scar on his head, okay, uh, and then he finds out that he's a wizard, oh, and he goes to a magical castle, he, he makes friends, he goes on great adventures, sees bald men with no nose, and he, oh, it's brilliant, it's brilliant, oh, it's fabulous. That's Harry Potter. <sighs> Seemed a bit familiar, yeah. Well, I don't know, I mean, I mean what have you got? 
How about like, like a medieval fantasy? You mean like, like Lord of the Rings? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, so we need a hero. I'm saying he should be tall, dark and handsome, with dazzlingly blue eyes. An incredibly long neck. What? You're not describing yourself? No. Besides, my neck isn't that long. I mean, come on. You look like you got your head stuck in an elevator. And then everyone gathered to help, but instead of freeing you, they sort of stretched you out. <laughs> Let's just get started. So how are you thinking we should start it? How about... Once upon a time. Once upon a time? Is your target audience five-year-old girls? They're not going to be able to buy the stories. The five. All right. What have you got? I've got it. The Brokeback Bandits ruled the land for a millennia. The war was great and fierce. But little did they know. Just begun. Ooh, I like it. Quite good, isn't it? <laughs> How'd you come up with it? I read it in a book one time. Fuck's sake, let's just get started. What a most glorious day! <laughs> I'm certainly glad nobody has jumped out and surprised me yet. I said, I'm certainly glad nobody has jumped out and surprised me yet. I said! No, hang on, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Uh, um, sake. Uh, right. I am the great sorcerer, Union. And I have come to give you a perilous quest. Step away from me, peasant, before I smite thee! Alright, listen to the task of which I am here to give you. For you have become the chosen one, Sir Crane Alot. What is this task? You are here. To kill the bandit king, King Dubs, for it is your destiny. My mother always told me that my destiny was to marry my rich cousin Marilyn and inherit her family's gold. Yeah, well, this is your new destiny, all right? Uh, okay, but but how do you know? Uh, it was written down somewhere. Where was it written? Who wrote it? Look, you stupid bastard! Are we going on quest or what? Yes. On your noble steed, my good sir! Oh my god, you're acting shite. So, where are we going anyway? We are going to be the other chosen one. What? The other chosen one? I thought I was the chosen one! Well, there's two of you, alright? There's two chosen ones. But then wouldn't we be the chosen two? Oh, for God's sake, shut up, alright? Okay. I can sense him. I think he's near. What's his name anyway? Well, he used to be one of King Darth's own personal men. His name is feared throughout the lanes. What is it? It is... Pube Face. Pube Face? <laughs> what was that? What was that? How the hell should I know? <laughs> what was that? Just save me! Say, what the bloody hell did you do that for? <laughs> Don't get funny. <laughs> Don't get poop pants. <laughs> oh. Well, anyway, right. You are another chosen one, for I've come here to give you a personal quest. You are here to kill the bandit king, Davos. King Davos can't be killed. Too strong. Well, you and Sarah Crane a lot over here. You're, you're going to be able to defeat him, I reckon. 
<laughs> Can't kill little girl, <laughs> let alone Davos. <laughs> well, I think you two have got a chance. <laughs> Fear, a stench. It's a new smell of shit. <laughs> this peasant cannot kill anyone. He cannot even stick two words together. Oh, for God's sake, right. You two are here now. We're off on this bloody quest or what? Okay, then. Fucking shithead. Smelling little shit. I fucking hate. Go on, get moving. Hi. <laughs> what the fuck is it? Get down again. What the fuck am I working with here? Master! Master! I have concerning news. What is it, Eagle? Can't you see the hump, is he? I've heard talk amongst the trees. What have I told you about talking to them trees? You're barking mad. No, no. I've heard of a plot against you. A plot against me? No, I'm a dare. I'm the most powerful man in all the forest. Nah, 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 sir. That bloody sorcerer is getting trust from that night fella. From the start, you're round the table. I can't let that happen. There's only one thing we should do. Send out the Shywalker! Yeah. No, not my brother! Yes, your brother. He can go and sort him out, don't worry. And if he doesn't, well, he smells of shit anyway. What? It's my brother you're talking about, mate. Don't care. He's a bastard.